Decker to the rim. Oh my God, and throws it down. Desperate Decker in a desperation attempt to make this roster. Bro, is Decker about to force his way onto Nick Nurse's plans? Decker for three. Yo! Desperate Decker for three! Oh my God! Oh my God! This is incredible. One thirteen, one oh eight. Here's Holiday, out to the unknown man. No good on the three, and that will do it. Oh my goodness! The Raptors were plus seven and a half underdogs. They come out. And they beat the Washington Wizards. Unreal. Wow. I cannot Peter, believe Genio. what I have just seen. So it's time for the post game show. The Raptors just beat the Washington Wizards. I can't believe they did it. 113 108. They did so without OG and Anobi. They did so without Fred Van Vliet. They did so without Pascal Siakam, as well as Chris Boucher. I think it's safe to say the Raptors did not have their four best players available to play tonight. The Washington Wizards started full strength and for the first three or so quarters went full strength. They were full out with their starters and this Raptors bench. They kept up with these Wizards guys the entire game. It fell apart a little early. Washington were up 28 to 15 at one point, but our guys fought back. The next man up mentality has been rejuvenated within this team. The bench mob vibes have been resurfaced within this Toronto Raptors team. And a lot of it came down to this is our final preseason game and fringe players who needed to prove that they're worth a spot on this roster were playing to show. They were trying to show it. Isaac Bonga started. He's on that fringe as is Freddie Gillespie, as is Sam Decker, as is Ishmael Wainwright. I thought that Bonga... He started was a little bit underwhelming i ain't gonna lie wainwright was solid decker was mj in his prime and freddie gillespie better than usual i don't think there's any save in freddie gillespie i don't think he's going to make it on to this roster but let's take a look at what went into this game because the washington wizards shot really well from three in fact they were 39.5 percent shooting from three that kind of regressed over the course of the game. The Raptors ended 43% from three. That shot up when Sam Decker came in the fourth quarter and lit the world on fire. 41% from the field. They had 44%, but the turnovers were a nice addition for the Raptors who forced 18 turnovers and put up 19 points on those turnovers. The rebounding has not been a problem for Raptors playing with no guy above six foot nine, really. So it was very, very nice to see the Raptors use everything you know there's their size and their ability to push and transition to their advantage and to force turnovers on a full strength wizards team for a lot of this game the raptors again were plus seven and a half underdogs and they took down the wizards 113 108 based off of the incredible play off the bench by some players goran Dragic was one of the great performers tonight his breakout game hopefully for the raptors 16 points five for nine from the field four for five from three absolutely ridiculous for goran Dragic, the dragon Gary Trent, another extremely disappointing game. 4 for 14 from the field, 1 for 7 from 3. Really need to pick up his game, not perhaps to choose his best. Barnes, uh, you know, a typical Scotty Barnes night, 9.7 assists. That's great. Uh, but how about the people who showed up to play? Malachi Flynn, fourth quarter Flynn is back. He was only 6 for 15 from the field, but 22 points in the game. Sensational in the fourth quarter. Sam Decker, desperate Decker. The witching hour of the Raptors roster. Sam Decker's likely final chance at making the NBA again in his career. He goes 7 for 10 in the fourth quarter. 4 for 5 from 3. 18 points. Grabbing this Raptors team by the scruff of the neck. And probably, like, he was... I think before that happened, he was definitely getting cut. Now, Nick Nurse, whoever, there's a decision to make. There's a decision to make. I think Freddie Gillespie is done. Ishmael Wainwright, I thought that that was his spot. I think Isaac Bonga ultimately will make it. I think that for the case of Bonga, the fact that they started him shows a bit of trust in him as a playmaker, and he's going to make the team. His size and wingspan definitely help. 
Sam Decker was on the fringe, as was Wainwright, as was Gillespie for that one last spot. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't think Gillespie has any chance. Wainwright, I think, came into the day in that spot. Wainwright was fine today. He was two for four from the field, two for three from three, seven points. But Decker, I don't think he had a chance coming into. I didn't think he had a chance coming into tonight. But the 18 point performance, I think that there is going to be decisions that need to be made within difficult decisions that need to be made within the Raptors. I mean, technically Reggie Perry was also fighting for that spot, but no, he's going to be in the G League. Um, ultimately, you know, you can send some guys to the G League, but Sam Decker made it interesting. You asked me, I think Bonga gets in. I think that ultimately Wainwright is going to get in as well. I think the defense is something that we, we have. And in the case of Decker, after we signed Decker, we also signed Svi Mihalik. And for me, Sviji is just a better version of Sam Decker, as is Yuta Watanabe. And I don't think we need a real third shooter in because, you know, Svi Mihalik and and Yuta Watanabe are going to be doing that. So I don't think Sam Decker is going to make this roster as unfortunate as it is for this game. But regardless, for Sam Decker as an individual, this game may give him another opportunity with another team in the NBA if it's not with the Raptors. I don't know uh, the contract structure. I don't know if, if he can be in the G League. But, you know, this game proves that, you know, Sam Decker is capable of shooting. But if you go to last night's game, he played 11 minutes and get a single point. So which Decker are we actually going to trust? Ultimately, preseason is over for the Raptors. We finished with a 3-2 and two record. I was very impressed with what we had in preseason. I'm loving the system we're putting in place. You know, we're playing with everybody who's 6'9". We're pushing the ball in transition. We're forcing the defense's hand. We're making them come contest. We're making them scattered in transition, whether it be off a make or a miss. And I have been immensely entertained by what I've seen. Uh, I think that my takeaways, you know, the bigger takeaways here is OG Ananobi is ready for the next step. I think that Prince Chua should be the starting center for this team. I think that he is a guy that needs to be the starting center. Scotty Barnes is a real deal. Um, and I don't know. Freddie Gillespie sucks. <laughs> Freddie Gillespie really does really does lack a lot of talent. So I think that for him as well. Uh, I think Aaron Baines was just so bad last year that it made it made it seem like Freddie Gillespie was actually good. Uh, you know, I, I don't I don't like seeing people's NBA dreams start to crumble, but. You know, ultimately, when the talent just isn't quite there, it, it's been very apparent. He struggled in summer league. He struggled in preseason. And it's a business. It's not personal. But I don't think he has nearly enough what it takes to make this roster. But the game in general, the Raptors, you know, whoever was on the court, whoever was involved in the play, we stuck to our system. We stuck to the Nick Nurse system that he's been trying to install in the team. And... As a result of that, we grinded it out. Again, bench mob vibes, next man up mentality. I think the next man up mentality started to drift away last season where it wasn't like a flawless entry for a bench guy coming into the starting lineup. We didn't have that flawless entry into the lineup, but today it seemed like everybody is on the same page about what this team is trying to accomplish on the court, what sort of system they want to evoke on the court, how they want to go about the game. Every player, it seems like, is bought into it. Whereas last season, I didn't feel like that was the case. And I know it's only preseason, but these are very promising signs for a Toronto Raptors team looking to bounce back from a very difficult season in Tampa. And today was a very good indicator of the vibes that we have off the bench. And, you know, we didn't have OG, Fred, Pascal, or Boucher today. And, and Washington's starting lineup. And I get that it's preseason. But what a well-earned victory for a lot of this, this, this young core and a lot of the guys who haven't been playing a lot. And... Props to the guys who made the decision for Nick Nurse and Co. interesting, like Sam Decker. Props to them for showing up tonight and really trying to force themselves into this roster. Regardless, we'll leave it up to Nick Nurse. I'm going to trust whatever his judgment is, and we'll move on from that. The season starts on October 20th. We are in this setting. We'll be back on stream for the first game of the season. I'm very excited to get the season going and see what this team can produce in actual NBA games. Let's go, Raptors. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. Really appreciate you guys stopping by and joining the stream. I had a great time. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Thank you so much for supporting me. Remember to check out the most recent vlog on the Amateur TV channel. And, uh, and there's a pretty much an Amateur Clips video out every single day. <laughs>